we are going to be walking through how to diagnose a faulty thermostat using a multimeter. And so what I have here is a multimeter and I'm going to be setting it to continuity mode. And so when my probes touch, it makes a little beep like that. And so really all your thermostat is, is it's a sensor. It's sensing what the temperature currently is and it's going to either heat or cool your house to get it to the set point temperature. So. In my case, right now, everything's off, but if I wanted to make the temperature in my house 70, I would set this to heat, and then I would define a set point that is above my current temperature, so I would set this to something like 64. You can see that it says on the display that it turned the heat on, and I also heard a little tick, but for us to be sure of that, um, we're gonna look on the back of this thing, and you can see these wires with the labels. So we've got an RH, an RC, a G, a Y, and a W. These are the ones that we care about right now. Um, and so when you're heating, uh, it's going to be RH, and it's going to be making a connection to the W wire. And so we're gonna be using that continuity mode to check if it is actually doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my probes, and I'm just going to check for continuity between RH and W, just like this. And so, you can hear it, uh, that we do have continuity. And just to confirm that like when I'm not heating my house, so if I was to lower my set point temperature to like 59, again, we heard the tick, so it, it stopped that connection. Let me go back to here. I'm gonna check between RH and W, and I'm not hearing anything right now. Um, so that tells us that uh, the thermostat is correctly connecting the wires to get your furnace to kick on during uh, the heating of your house. So uh, the other thing we can check uh, is the uh, cooling mode. So if I set this to cooling right now um, and I have my set point temperature at 50, the current temperature is 60, what I expect to see is if I go to the back of this thing, um, I see a RC and a W. And so I should expect to see a circuit uh, between these two, a continuity between the two. So I'm connecting the first one to RC and uh, Y, sorry. So what I'm seeing is that connection made between RC and Y. And then the other thing, when this thermostat is in cooling mode, is it's going to kick on the fan. So Y is the uh, connector for the uh, compressor, and then G is for the fan. So when your house is cooling, you're going to be sending power to your thermos, uh, to the condenser as well as to G, which is the fan. And so you should hear that continuity between RC and G as well as Y. And so if you don't, then again, that tells you that this thing's faulty and you should replace it. Um, and then the final thing you can check is for the fan. So I'm gonna set my system to off right now. And if I wanted to just run the fan at my house, I would turn the fan to the on position. And in this situation, I would expect there to be continuity to this G wire right here and uh, to RC, and I'm hearing that, which is good. Uh, and then when I set the fan to be off or auto, um, I'm going to lose that connection that we just had on the circuit board. So um, that is how you can verify that your thermostat is working as expected.